Okay, welcome back to the shop. I am, of course, the Bad Blacksmith. Um, I, who else would I be if you're watching the Bad Blacksmith channel? Anyways, I am the Bad Blacksmith, and in today's episode, we will be making um, a bottle opener. Uh, but I have to do something first. I'm going to take this piece of metal and I'm going to try to upset this end of it here to make it a little bit fatter and then I'm going to try to square it off a bit so that I can make it fit in my hardy hole a little better. <laughs> and this, I'm going to round off the edges on this and make it into a wedge or a punch or a hardy punch, whatever. Um, the last time I made a, a bottle opener, I, I struggled trying to get uh, the, the inside opened wide enough. Um, I completely did it wrong. I used a, a center punch uh, to make the hole rather than, um, rather than this kind of punch uh, to make the hole. So this time I'm going to use this uh, and, and some steel and I'm going to widen it with this or try to widen it with this uh, and um, see if I can make it work. If I can't make that work, I'm going to try a different version of, the, uh, of a bottle opener with a claw <laughs> hook on the end. <laughs> like that. Um, so let's get started, roll the intro, and uh, I'll get the forge lit. On today's episode, I make a tool I don't use. I upset some metal, and Daryl fails at being a cameraman. Plus, stick around to the end for some vintage footage of a bottle opener in action. You're not even a good punch. Look at how square you are. Nobody wants a square punch. And look at how flat your end is. It's terrible. And yes, your jeans make you look fat. This part's done. Uh, I think it's, I think it's mostly done there. Uh, I got a little bit of a, a little bit of grinding to do on the front of this, um, smashing it with the hammer to upset it. Upset it, got it, um, created a dimple in there, or flattened it out. And then when I was trying to um, taper it back down, uh, it got it got a dimple inside it. Um, also, as you can see. My, my tongs don't exactly work very well on this, on this, um, on this metal here. I'm not sure how to, maybe that's better. I don't know. They're not the right size tongs for this size uh, piece of metal. Um, I got it mostly round. Um, I guess I could probably work on it a little on the, on the belt grinder uh, to try to even it out a bit. Uh, it doesn't have to be perfect. Uh, it's just meant to widen out. This is a much wider piece of uh, metal to widen something out uh, than I, I, I previously had. All I had was my center punch, and that wasn't wide enough. I couldn't get it. Once I got the center punch in, I couldn't get it over the horn of the anvil, so it was very difficult to try to um, to try to open the hole up a bit uh, to make an actual bottle opener. So that's that. Um, I'll go round this off and round the top off and then 
round the, uh, the edges off some more. Um, but since it's tapered and since I don't have the right size tongs to grab it, it's really kind of difficult to put it on the anvil and get it straight and whatnot. So I'll finish it off there. Um, once I get that done, I'm going to put some more metal in the, in the forge, get it lit back up, put some more metal in there, and uh, start, working on getting a, uh, start working on getting a bottle opener uh, done. Um, I kind of want to do uh, the round bar stock instead of the round flat stock, uh, but I don't know. Well, I will, I'll figure it out, I suppose, um, and try to do the best I can with it. All right, so back to the... Uh, Back to the time lapse. Um, one more thing to quickly mention that I didn't mention a second ago. As you can see, I have a very fancy new apron. It's made of uh, leather and it's nice and warm and it fits pretty good and it was very inexpensive. Um, key link, I don't know. I don't know. Um, and two, I, uh, I, I was, I, I've been studying about hardening metals and whatnot, and um, in the past I've used that metal, in the past times that I've used that metal, I've hardened it in my, uh, my vegetable oil. Um, and from what I've been reading, some metals require that you put them in, uh, quench them in water. Uh, so I quenched this in water. Let's see, I got a... Um, uh, file here and it doesn't pass a file test so it didn't harden in water and it hasn't hardened in oil either so never mind uh, I thought I thought I had figured something out but apparently I didn't and this is still kind of warm so back to it I don't know what's going on, but the dogs are going nuts over there. So if you hear the dogs barking, I apologize. Um, all right, so uh, here um, is my first attempt ever at a bottle opener. And as you can see, um, it's pretty terrible. Um, I mean, it's just not even close. Um, it looks awful, but it's functional. Um, here here is today's attempt or my second attempt today at um, at a bottle opener um, now as you can see the opening is quite a bit more well def uh, quite a bit better defined um, <clears throat> uh, and it's uh, got a better shape Unfortunately, the center, um, I couldn't get the center to round out properly and, and fit. So what I did was I used the punch on either side um, to create the, the dimples that catch the, the bottle cap as it's opening. Um, and then I put a little bit of a bend in it that you can see there. Um, so that was my second attempt. Um, so off camera, I decided I was going to go ahead and give it a third try, and um, and this is what I came up with. Um, so as you can see, it's quite a bit more uh, well defined this time, um, and uh, that's not actually true. I just found this one on the refrigerator. Anyways, um, got this done. Um, I put it on the on the belt grinder. Uh, and got carried away a bit because, I mean, come on, the belt grinder's pretty fun. Pretty fun to use. Um, and rounded out the edges and whatnot. Um, 
I still got to do another version of this. Um, I'm going to try some other stuff. I'm going to just keep on trying because this is still uh, pretty terrible looking. Um, but it's a huge improvement over what I had, so I'm making progress. And that's the name of the game. Keep on swimming. You know what you got to do? I don't want to know what you got to do. Just keep swimming. Just keep swimming. Just keep swimming, swimming, swimming. Um, anyways... Um, anyways, as always, if you enjoy the content and you want to uh, support the channel, hit the subscribe button. Um, it's an awesome thing to do. And remember, all the rest of the year, uh, it's absolutely free. And I've still got plenty of the uh, internet points to give away. So if you want some internet points, subscribe, hit the bell, let me know, and I will send you a bucket full of internet points because they don't mean anything and you can use them any way you want. Um, so that's gonna that's gonna wrap it up. Um, oh, I did I do need to mention uh, one other thing. Um, I did get this uh, to fit in the in the hardy hole a little better. Uh, still not great. It still doesn't work right. Um, and as if you noticed, when I was trying to make this thing, I had this thing in there, and I was trying to put this through it uh, to get. Uh, basically to get it rounded out and whatnot. The the horn on the anvil is much better. This turned out to be worthless. Um, what I may need to do actually is just turn it over and use it as a big fat punch rather than a hardy tool. Um, the hole in the, the big round hole, I don't know if it's a pritzel, pritzel, pritz, pritzel hole, I don't know how to say it, pritzel hole. Uh, there's a small pritzel hole um, but I don't know what the big one's called. Uh, it may also be a pritchel hole. Whew, that's hard to say. Um, so that's, uh, that's what this is probably going to end up being used for. And as you can see, I didn't get it quite ground round enough, so I'm going to have to uh, hit it on the grinder a little more and round it out some. Um, but this should make a really good, uh, a good punch if I'm doing something like this. Uh, so um, thanks again.